Hi and welcome to this week's video blog, where today we're going to show you how to achieve a Retina-enabled WordPress site with Retina.js and WP Retina two times. Back in January, James talked about how you can easily utilize CSS media queries for serving high resolution CSS background images to those high DPI or Retina screen resolutions. All well and good as a starting point for pixel-based raster graphics. However, the CSS background technique isn't going to be practical within content managed posts and pages where graphics and content need to be uploaded and in place fast. Much like responsive design, we'll see a lot more Retina sites this year, particularly with more high-res devices like the new Chromebook and Kindles recently on the scene. I also think that the Retina IMAX will debut later this summer, autumn, but let's talk about our options for our first Retina WordPress site. So let's start by taking a look at Retina.js, and we'll then build on this with looking at Geordie Meow's WP Retina 2 times plugin. OK, so the popular and established Retina.js is an open source JavaScript plugin that starts by detecting if you're using a Retina screen. If you are, the script takes a look in your images folder and checks if there's a high resolution available with the at two times file name. We'll then take a quick look at Retina.js and then check out the fantastic WordPress plugin, WP Retina two times, which starts by deploying Retina.js, but then also makes your at two times files for you. Let's check the two techniques out on our dummy WordPress installation. I've set up my testing uh, WordPress site then just here. And to show you first of all retina.js, here's an example image that I've added to the header of my theme. If I just give this a quick inspect, you'll see that the image is shown at uh, its native size, 100 pixels by 100 pixels, and the image is saved as james.png. Now because I'm on my retina MacBook, I have to zoom in, this image is really re uh, low resolution. I want to use retina.js to use a higher resolution image for retina enabled screens. So head over to retina.js.com and you can download retina.js with this download button just here. And when you unpackage the zip, you'll see a JavaScript file minified that's barely a couple of kilobytes in size. Like we mentioned, what this script's going to do is it's going to look on our server if we've got a retina display and it's going to look for a file of the same name with Apple's modify naming convention at two times at the end. And what it will do is it will swap that file for the double resolution image but scale it down so that you get that higher resolution. Simply add the JavaScript to the head of your website. I'd recommend on queuing it or adding it as a plugin like I demonstrated two weeks ago in my last video blog so please check that out. So I've already done just that, I've simply added retina.js into a plugin to run it in the head. I'm going to activate that plugin. And I'm just going to zoom in slightly. So now we, when I refresh the page, we should have retina.js running in our head. So if I refresh, you'll see the resolution of the image has uh, improved because we're now using the higher resolution file. And again, if we look at the image down here, you'll see that we, the image has been swapped for at two times in the browser. So that's retina.js, it's really good. Be advised though, if you have a website with loads of different graphics on it and you're just doing a few graphics, retina.js is going to search your entire server for all, to try and replace all those images, so it can slow your site down if you have a lot of images. Now like we mentioned however, retina.js uh, does have its limitations. If I was to add, say I was a customer using my website, and I was to add an image to a blog post, Let's use this ET poster as an example. And we'll pop the medium size into the post and take a quick look. Again, difficult to see watching this in the video, but this image file is a really low resolution. It's being shown, obviously, at its uh, normal 72 dpi size. Even though we're running retina.js, WordPress isn't making us a retina version of that image using the at two times modifier. So that's where WP Retina two times comes in. Head over to wordpress.org slash extend for the plugin library and search for WP Retina two times. What retina two times does, if I head over to my plugins page, let's leave that page. I'll deactivate just retina.js. I'm going to activate WP Retina two times. Is it's not only going to run Retina.js, WP Retina also makes our at two times images for us as well. So let's go back to our post. 
and let's add, add the image again. Insert the medium image, update, and let's view the post. So now we've added this image. It's a much sharper, high resolution image, and much like our, lo our logo at the top, it's pulling out the at two times file. So you can see that it's being, if you can see the natural size just there, it's being shown at 600 pixels. So the actual image size is 600 pixels by 436. But we're compressing it down to 300 to get that resolution. If you head over to the uh, media tab in the back end, you'll see that there's a little retina tab. And you can see in here and manage all your WP Retina two times images. So retina.js, really fantastic, lightweight plugin for running retina images on your WordPress site. Simply use WP Retina two times, it not only uses retina.js and deploys it for you, it also creates the at two times images for your files. Main thing to bear in mind, obviously when you're adding files to your post, is to make sure you upload really high resolution images that can be used for at two times, otherwise it obviously can't upscale normal resolution images for you. In conclusion then, if you're making a WordPress site and you're looking for a long-term retina support solution, you simply want to use WP Retina two times by itself. Our best advice though is to develop your theme layout with the CSS background image technique and use WP times two for embedded imagery within posts, pages and carousels. Thanks for watching this week's video. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to head over to our supporting blog which has a write-up and the links to both retina.js and WP Retina two times.